Given that disclosing the source code of a software eliminates trade secret protection in that software if it's disclosed uh, to the world, why would a company want to make its proprietary software available on an open source basis? Well, there are lots of reasons. One, of course, is that the company wants the tool available to the world for altruistic purposes. But setting that aside and thinking that a company is driven to earn profits uh, from its software business, why would it want to make the software available in open source form? Well, first of all, do remember that open source does not mean viral open source automatically. It doesn't mean that we're making available the software for further distribution by licensees. A company might make available its software in object code form to be used, but also make available the source code so that, uh, so that a licensee better understands it or can provide support for itself. There, there are simple reasons like that. But there are good business reasons often for a company to make its source code available. It may, for example, wish to encourage the community to drive improvements to the code so that uh, they can make uh, derivatives or, or modifications of the source code, but they agree in advance that those modifications are owned by the original software proprietor and that they must contribute them back to the community, let's say. And so it may be about driving uh, improvement and just creating a better product, which might at a later time be made available on more of a commercial basis, a closed source basis. It may be that the company's business model is to sell support while making the software freely available, and they derive their revenues solely from the support. It might be that they are making their source code available in order to drive adoption of a product which creates a standard and that that standard is useful for the industry or the ecosystem in which the company operates or perhaps it's a standard that is uh, taken advantage of by other products that the company sells uh, for, for fees. Uh, there are a variety of reasons why a company might make their code available. If they make the code available in source code form and the trade secrets are eliminated, that does not mean that the company retains no rights in the software. It might mean that a company could, that another co company or a competitor could create new code based on the same ideas that are learned from studying the source code. But bear in mind that the original software proprietor still retains its copyrights in the original code. And even if they make that available, even if they eliminate the trade secret protection, unless they give permission, no one is allowed to make copies of that code or make derivative works of that code. So a competitor competitor would have to entirely recreate it, create their own code, or else they'd be infringing the copyrights of the original proprietor. And it's because they retain those copyright uh, protections that the original proprietor can place all kinds of restrictions on the use of the code that they've made available in open source form. Copy left is one approach to those restrictions, but it may be a community source platform where we make it available for use only if modifications are contributed back to the original proprietor or to the community of users. There are lots of good reasons to make source code available, and many of them actually drive business and drive revenues back to the original proprietor.